Shit fire! Welcome to Cooking and Drinking with Douglas, the quarantine slash Easter special. Don't ask what I was doing down there, by the way. Yeah, I don't need this anymore. I've been wearing that when I've been, been at my casa because I've been eating so damn much the past couple of weeks. I'm gonna get fat. I gotta do something to, uh, to help me cut back on the eating. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm I'm feeling it tonight. I got I got my peeps with me for for the Easter special, and I have a a chocolate hollow bunny, and I have one of my favorite beers, Founders Breakfast Stout. This beer is really damn good with Boston cream donuts, by the way. I usually get those donuts at Country Donuts here in Crystal Lake, but I haven't been able to get those recently because of the C-word craziness. Drink. Okay, for those of you that did not catch part one, that's basically where I was breaking down the rules of the drinking game. I'll break it down one time right now. And it's not like one or two things where you drink. It's it's a, it's a list for sure. All right, so if I say the C word drink, and I don't mean the see you next Tuesday C word. If I touch my face drink, if I touch my junk, drink, but that won't happen. If I say, um, if I say, you know, if I drop a F-bomb. All right, I'm forgetting, so it'll come to me. It'll come to me in a minute or two, hopefully. And, and what I'll be cooking and what I'll be showing you how to cook. Whoopsie daisy is red Swiss chard. And this stuff is badass. It's, it's really tasty. It's really tasty when you saute it. And it's super healthy for you, which is really important right now. I mean... This shit is packed with, which this is huge for right now, vitamin C. It's also packed with vitamin K. And also vitamin A. Yeah. This shit is the shit. It's, it's good stuff. And as I said in part one, it should be your new best friend. It has a lot, a lot of health benefits. That's for sure. Oh, that song that was by Ween, by the way. Fiesta by Ween. Who else plays Ween and the Beastie Boys during their cooking show? Rachel Ray doesn't, I'll tell you that much. She doesn't have shit on me. You better look out, Rachel Ray. Yeah, so Easter. Easter is today. Happy Easter, everybody. And for those of you that have uh, uh, female siblings, today... Try to see your Seaster because it's Easter. Well, if you see her, maybe stay six feet away or so. It's probably a good idea to, to play it safe. Hey, Vato! 
Grab your Easter a Corona. It's Easter. <laughs> Rachel Ray doesn't have, have fucking jokes like that. Oh, I just strapped it up. Uh, drink, y'all. All right, here we go. Woo! I'm dropping the F-bomb. I'm getting loose. I'm ready to drop some knowledge about red Swiss chard. Look at how beautiful it is. It really is a good, a good, good looking leafy vegetable. That is packed with vitamin C. Yeah, this stuff is really good, I'm telling you. And it's it's a kind of like really good side where you, where you can do it with your pasta dishes. I know some of y'all have some like killer pasta and shit. This is like really good side for this. Oh, and also besides the red Swiss chard, I figured I'd just like throw in like some snacks, make it kind of like a snacks addition too, since I've been eating so much, like eating so many snacks and stuff. These are really damn good. Bacon flavored Ritz. These are fantastic. And then I've been eating these a lot for the past month. I tell you, I'm definitely, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be getting fat. So, so uh, this popcorn, man, th well, this is at Mariano's here in, in Crystal Lake. So it's basically like a mix mixture of, uh, of uh, caramel corn and then cheese uh, popcorn. It's really damn good. All right, so back to the red Swiss chard. So the first thing you want to do is rinse the hell out of this stuff and then dry it. I usually dry it with a paper towel and then after that, you're you're wanting to separate the leaves from the stems. And regarding uh, the stems, so these are obviously red stems. And this is why it's called red Swiss chard. And there's other colors, right? So there's rainbow Swiss chard. And it's not called rainbow Swiss chard because gay folks or lesbians eat it or whatever. It's called that because it basically has all the different colors in one stem kind of thing, right? So there's a yellow color, uh, there's a white slash cream color. And then today, I didn't know this existed until I saw it today. I did pick some up, but I wanted to use the red for the video. But there's green Swiss chard also. All right, so separating the leaves from the stem. So there's basically two ways you can do this. You can either just peel it off. Or you can cut it off, which I'll do in a second. And regarding um, separating the leaves from the stems, Definitely not the uh, the part that I'm doing now, the cutting part, but as far as the peeling part, that's something that you can get your kids involved. I I know I mentioned this one this part, getting your kids involved in my very first Cooking with Douglas episode, but I figure I'd bring it up again because it, it just seems like a really good idea. If you want to get your kids involved in it, like you could have them, you know, just do this, just peel 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 off the leaves from the stems. I mean it's pretty easy. You know, you could be like, hey, Charlie, hey, Ruth, 
you want to help me with this red Swiss chard? You know, get it ready so I, so I can, uh, so I can saute it. And they'll be like, yeah, mama, yeah, daddy. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good way to get your kids involved in it, you know, and, and, uh, you know, it's a good, like, family bonding time in the kitchen kind of thing, right? Yeah, the hell, hell with Elvis, Elvis Peel, uh, this last one. And for, uh, okay, so for, like, one serving... It's basically basically like five five of those big pieces of of the Swiss chard, right? If you want to do two servings, then then uh, then you do then you do well, it's like five to six, and for two, then it's. Uh, And the next thing that you want to do, you want to, to chop up your onions, and, and basically it'll be minced onions. And then you'll do the same with garlic. Uh, 